Hello everybody and welcome back to Purple Plays, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Last time we uh, ran a few errands in Kakariko Village, got bombs, got the Hawkeye, got two new pieces of heart, went out of Kakariko Village, um, defeated a few shadow beasts, and uh, made our way into the Twilight once again where we found Leah, entered Hyrule Castle Town, and then descended from the Great Bridge of Hylia all the way down to what is supposed to be Lake Hylia. And in this episode, we're going to find out the mystery on why there's so little water here and take care of the light by getting the vessel. If we go over here, we can see this little odd clown guy. Let's listen to what he says. <sighs> I'm too old for this. Fire and Falby's water top land of fantastic fantastication fucking whatever it's our grand reopening at our new lake bottom location we um, yeah nice lake don't lakes have more I don't know water did the Zoras who live up river do something or is it a curse from that spirit that floats around up there whatever it's not like I can go up and complain. That's way too high. Hmm? What is that? A customer? Yeah, it's a monster. Yeah, or it could just be a guy playing a prank on you. <clears throat> In either case. Uh, one thing I want to note real quick is that if you ever notice Midna like looking about or just Wolf Link and Midna like that, Usually, that means that there's a digging spot around. I'm not going to check every single digging spot I go through because that would just take all day and not all of them show or not all of them have anything that you can dig up. Usually, those are reserved for hearts, but here I'm out. Get with the program. So we get this little archer and he shouldn't be too tough, but we gotta give him a fighting chance somehow. And apparently he can play the hawk grass. I don't know what kind of hawk would come to his aid since usually everything's spirified and oh my god, okay. Yeah, so the hot grass in Lake Hylia kind of calls upon monsters. And here we got a little bit of a mini boss of sorts. We have this Bokoblin Twilight thing shooting us while mounted onto this bird. The bird's gonna fly around after he shoots and then he's gonna try and grab us. What we want to do is do what he wants to do and jump on him Wipe his fucking nipples right off if he has any. If you successfully attack him, he's going to flee and then try again. But we got his nipples, get him off, and then we kill this guy. It's best just take him out as soon as possible. I don't think he can remount the bird, but I'm not going to try. Or let him try. But Midna will try. Hey, stop it. I'm your new master now. Settle down. Hey. Why don't we use this guy to get us all the way up to the lake's water source? Well, without getting my input, and not like I can, I get carried around like a little puppy. And get to pretty much my favorite uh, scenario within the Twilight Realm. Of any of the Twilight Realm. Going up Zora's River. I love the music in this area. Specifically in the Twilight version of it. I think it's like Midna's theme? but kind of remixed or something. You can use your sensor to give it a bit of a cooler look in my opinion. It doesn't hinder too much of your uh, sight, so in my opinion it's all about preference. 
but the senses will be used later. Oh, dear. Um, if you collide with any obstacle or just the wall, um, the bird will drop you and you will fall into the bottomless pit and you'll have to restart the entire segment all over again. I actually like putting on the senses more because it gives a bit of a, a sense of fear when you see something like uh, the, the broken stones uh, falling toward you. If you're wondering why the rocks are breaking before us, it's because these guys keep shooting bomb arrows at these things. So you don't want to just keep dashing, otherwise you'll dash right into it. There's our exit. Looks like a little keyhole. Kind of noise. Well, once we're here, he'll drop us off and he'll be glad to never see us again. Am I right? Well, we're at the Upper Zora River and we got another spirit. It's just spirits all over the place. But we are in the most inhabited area. Oh, we're already here? That bird turned out to be more useful than I expected. Well then, where's the village of Zoras? Let's look for it. It's getting cold. Hurry up. I don't feel a thing. I guess it's one perk to being furry. But if we talk to this person... I mean, what are those Zoras up to anyway? The rivers run totally dry, right? I can't work like this. Ugh. Cold. Ah, I miss my fur coat. She looks a little familiar, actually. Wonder if she has a relative. But anyways, this is what she's complaining about. And what everybody's complaining about. This is supposed to be the source of the river, but it looks like as we progress further to the source, it gets colder because it's frozen. Neat. Speaking of Frozen, I've never watched Frozen. Actually, no, I take that back. I have watched Frozen. It was a terrible horror movie. I think... It was like one of the second horror movies I watched when getting... Was it, was it Netflix? I think so. Oh, hey. What's going on here? I thought it was getting colder, but who would have thought that it would all be frozen? This is the Zora village, right? Why don't I see any then? Well, anyway, let's check things out. Let's find the Zoras. Um, if you go... Yeah. If you look around uh, Lake Hylia when we descended from the bridge, you can actually find a couple of Zoras just hanging out. Um, just worried about what the hell's going on. Eh, take care of this guy. But they really don't say anything all that interesting, so I didn't bother to talk to them or listen. I think we can go up from here. Let's go. So as you can tell, there's a little hill right here, so it should be a good indication that you can use Midna to jump. Be a little mindful of how you do it here because, well, ice physics. If you go too fast, I believe Wolf Link will slip, which is something you don't want to happen, otherwise you're going all the way back down. So, with every press of the A button, just uh, have like a half second gap in between. And I screwed up just like that. Wait, I died? <sighs> okay, I was not aware that I would die from falling that high. But Ganondorf mode, you know how it goes. All I can say is just take your time. 
And for the love of God, don't fall. I only fell because when you're hanging onto the ledge, if you press A, you automatically let go. So, I wasn't able to really react in time, and I died. I didn't even know it would take that much health. I thought at the least it would take two hearts, or the most, I mean. Just fuck this, man. I knew this was going to be tough, but... This is getting absurd. Anyways, we got some more Shadow Beasts. You know the drill, and they kind of seal off one of them. So, again, take out the one with the least amount, leave two alive, and then kill them. But I shouldn't really have to explain that. A portal was open here, too. We can finally warp. If you want to breathe the air of the world of light for a moment, let me know. I'll take you there. That doesn't sound like a bad idea, considering I need health badly. But... Oh, what's new in that guy say? Whoa, hey! Down! Look at... Look below the ice. I was getting to that. If you look below and the camera stops jittering out, just use your senses. And would you look at that? All the Zoras are there. Frozen. How? Those, those are the Zoras. Wow, this is really strange. What in the world happened? Hey, what do you want to do? You can't just leave them like this. I think all we need to do is thaw them out. It does us no good to just stand here thinking. Let's leave and come back later then. The portal should work for us. We need to find a way to melt the ice. And then come back here. Well, we do have a way to melt the ice. But before I do that, I am going to warp to the world of light. Back to Kakariko Village. Okay, so that may have seemed like a pointless cut, but I really wanted to heal up. So I went to Kakariko Village bathed in the spring for a couple of seconds and then got my hearts back so where you want to go is you want to talk to Midna and warp but where you want to go is Death Mountain if you remember there was a big old rock that fell from Death Mountain after the eruption and that's what we want to get So I'll just head over here. I wonder what happens if you look at the Gorons, actually. Oh, they just look at you, they don't care. This thing has been here for a while now, but it's still pretty hot. So yeah, this thing's hot enough. At least it should be to melt ice. So just tell her to bring it with us. Four deaths. I'm mad at myself. Of course, it's the stupidest thing. But now that we crashed the ice and melted it, boom! The water source has been restored back to Hyrule. which is specifically mainly in Laneru province. <laughs> Who knew that something so dangerous would come in handy? All right, the Zoras are safe now, so let's go. The ice melted and restored the water flow to normal. Can we finally meet the spirit of Lake Hylia? I believe so. So yeah, all the Zoras came out, so that's nice. 
So let's head on. Wait. Hello there. Please, you must allow me to thank you for revitalizing both my people in this spring, which is the water source of all the lands of Hyrule. In life, I was the elder of the Zora village and the queen of my people. I am called Rutella. No Rudo, though. Not to be rude, but we didn't exactly do it for you guys. The Dark Ones. They raided this village and, as a message to my people, executed me before them. Yeah, just like Midna, we really don't care. Young man, you who take the form of a proud beast. Yes, I have bad manners. What of it? I have something to ask of you. When the Dark Ones descended upon our village, I sent my young one... Rallis, or is it? No, it's not Rails, it's Rallis. I'm just gonna call him Rallis. To Hyrule Castle, to inform Princess Zelda of our fate. But I fear danger followed him from this doomed place. I feel it. His presence grows fainter to me over time. So, how can you feel something that's growing fainter? Whatever. But my time in this world has passed, and though I would give it gladly, I no longer have a life to risk in his rescue. Please, will you save my dearest Prince Rallis? If you do this thing, I will bestow upon you the protection of water. This power will grant you the ability to swim and respire in very deep water, as if you were a Zora. Please, save my son. All right, fine, mom. Uh, like hmm. So if we help her, she'll grant you the power to swim in deep water like Azora, huh? So, what do you say, hero? Oh, but now that I think about it, I don't suppose you should meet the prince as a wolf, huh? <laughs> so, no hurry to return to the world of light then, huh? No hurry indeed. It's not like anybody's waiting for me. But anyways, yeah, you can just go ahead and listen to some of these guys. They don't really have much to say. They're just kind of glad to be alive. Uh, just gonna make our way out. Hopefully not die. So as you can see, all the ice is melted and broken. To an extent. Looks like the shock of the impact not only raised the water level, but sped up the flow, too. This water should flow all the way back to the lake. Why don't you take it... Uh, why don't you let it take you there or something? I don't know. Wait! I just want to check something. Okay, there's a rock. And... Random crates. I want to say there's a chest around here, but... That might be over there, doesn't matter. So I'll just hop down here and let the water current take us to our doom. And we've been going all about Hyrule and we still haven't even really encountered the lake spirit yet. Ugh, aren't you awake yet? Look, we got washed all the way down to Lake Hyla, just as I predicted. And it looks like we're right in front of the Spirit Spring to boot. Talk about lucky. Well, let's go. Snap out of it and get to the Spirit. And, alright, don't need to be rude about it. At least on my butt. My back butt. My backbone. Whatever. Anyways, this is the lake spirit. And this is what I mentioned earlier. It's definitely different than the other springs. I am the last of the spirits of light, consumed by twilight. Hero, chosen one of the gods, you have 
done well to make it this far. Gather my scattered tears of light that were stolen by the shadow. Gather them in this. And we already know the drill. Thankfully, this is the last time we have to do this. So, yeah. Yada yada yada. It really just says the same thing. I honestly didn't mean to skip that first part, but really, there's no difference in what this spirit says that the other two haven't. So, if you look at your map, or just look in general, we'll see our first victim. Follow him up here. That's one. But let's see, looking at the map, we have another one all the way over here. After these guys. You know, because everything just likes getting in our way. But hey, let's look on the bright side. When I kill these guys, I'll get another shortcut. So it's not all bad. So I'll kill this guy, and then let's drag these two guys together. You don't have to do it in the same order that I did. I think he'll go to the other guy just the same. It's really just preference. Just don't save the guy in the middle. Or don't kill the guy in the middle first. Otherwise you gotta kill them all over again. Anyways. Let's just climb up this little bridge. And we... Oh, no you don't. Nope. That makes two. So. With those two now done. We have one all the way on the other side of the map. And I'm probably going to cut this out until I get near him. So I'll see you guys on the other side of the map. All right, I made it. And it looks like we found our little friend. Let's go ahead and attack him when he's not uh, busy. Or not busy electrifying himself. Let's talk to Midna. Hey, if you blow that grass there, the monster bird that was just here should come back. And even if you can't play it yourself, maybe you can sit there and howl the same song. So yeah, if you don't know where I am, just look at the map on screen or look at your mini map to, well, yeah. So go by this grass and then howl the tune. It's actually really easy compared to the soundstones. In fact, I think this is the easiest song in the game, if not the worst sounding as well, too. So we meet our little bird friend again, or big bird. Minna will mount him and he'll carry us and we're going on to my favorite section of the Twilight Realm again. Only this time with two different stipulations. Stipulation number one, the water is flowing so we don't have as much room. Stipulation two, there are three insects on this route. If you don't kill them but make it to the goal, then you have to do this again until you kill them. And that wasn't a good start. Hey, careful now. Take out any insects of darkness you see on the way. It's easy if you lock on with ZL, okay? What do you think? Should we try it again? Yes. So like I said, if you get if you collide with anything, then you get taken back to the very beginning. Fortunately, you don't lose any health. But like I said, you have a lot less room to work with, so be careful. Use your senses to lock onto these guys, and then dash into them. Still a very, very beautiful place. I love this. But I love the music even more. I really need to find a, <clears throat> a like a 15 minute loop of this. 
I don't think there is one, but if I find it, I'm so favored to get. But anyways, here we have another. And these two are pretty close to each other. What I would like for this guy to do is just go ahead of me, like he's doing. I'm not going to charge him to him while he's electrified. And there we go. That wasn't too difficult. So relaxing. Now all you need to do is just make sure you get through it. If you, for whatever reason, collide with the wall or something after taking all of the insects out, you don't have to worry about taking them out again. They don't respawn. Once you take them out, they're gone for good. So, let's just head on out. And that'll be the last we see of that guy. Well, now that the water's back, let's see if she's in a better mood. Well, after seeing that, she wouldn't be. What's that? A bug? Ugh, nasty. Why is it so big? Oh, I am so sick of roughing it in the boonies. So let's just take care of that. You can talk to her again, she'll just say, you know, like, where to go, hope it doesn't come back, and yeah, just boring crap that I don't care about. What we want to do, though, is move out of the way, or get past her, get across her bridge, and if you look over here, we have another soundstone. But not before we see two spirits right over there. We'll be getting to that shortly. But this takes more importance. There we go. Did it a little too fast the first time. Unfortunately, unlike the last song, I can't remember this song off the top of my head. It sounds familiar, I just can't remember the name of it. It'll come to me eventually. I want to say it's from Ocarina of Time. I don't know for sure though. Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. We'll actually see this guy along the way because his next location is right at the entrance of Hyrule Castle. So, with that out of the way, let me just double check the mini map. So there's three there and then one there. Okay. So, what we want to do is go ahead and see what these guys are up to. Do you think Prince Rallis passed yeah. through here? He must have. This is the only waterway that connects to Hyrule Castle. Come, let's follow the path to search for him. So, he's, they're going after the prince, see if he's over there, and he is, we've already confirmed that. 
let's follow them since we don't really have a route to get out of the lake and into Pyrrhal again. Taking this will fix that issue. Lead us all the way to the very top of the map and we are going to have to make our way back to the entrance. So I will see you guys when we make it there. Be right back. And I'm back. So like I said, we've been running into the wolf again, like on our way. He's right up here, right by the entrance. Um, you already know which, oh, damn it, I forgot about this guy, or these guys. Funny, I run into the barrier just like I did before too, in my test playthrough. So we've already dealt with this type of barrier, nothing special. If anything, these guys just make it easier for me to be a little closer. But that just leads to yet another portal. Not that I'm complaining, just complain that I had to deal with these assholes constantly. But anyways, you remember where I found the little insect from before. So all you need to do is just go to where the bar is and then pick it up. At least if you killed him by then. If you haven't, well then you can kill him now. One thing I wanted to point out that I forgot to point out before was that if you try and dash while you're in town, your speed won't go up. I think, I don't know if it's common courtesy or something. I don't know why Wolf Link won't do it. But yeah, when he dashes, he doesn't really get any faster, at least in town. But anyways, now that that's out of the way, we only have three more, or four more, Tears of Light to get. So, in order to get the next ones, we want to warp, this time, to Zoro's Domain. So now we're here, they're still recovering, don't know how well, but anyways, put on your senses and we got one right on the wall, let's just bang into the wall, get him down, move out of the way in case he tries to attack and just grab that. So now that just leaves two more down here. We'll just work our way over here. This guy's flying above the water, but we got him there. So now we just need one more over here. Although I don't see any more on the map, it says that there's two. So, what gives? Oh, I'll figure that out once I get this little guy. Who's right here? You ain't burning. You ain't having that. Hey, what's going on? There should be one more. Where could that last tier be? What? There it is. What's going on? This is weird. So yeah, the last tier just spawned randomly. Unlike the others. Oh, what is it? I want to warp. That's what I want to do. So, just use the portal we got from Lake Hylia to warp to Lake Hylia. Well... That doesn't look very friendly at all. At all. But seeing as we just got one left, and that thing looks incredibly dangerous, I think I'm going to call it a part for now, since we've been at it for quite a while. 
But next time on Purple Place, The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, we take care of all of this. The final curtain of Twilight ends in the next part. Supposedly, anyways. We'll get the last tier of light, and then we'll head on toward our next few shadow. See you guys next time.